Hey everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and today I'll be showing you this week's traveling spirit, the Timid Bookworm from the Season of Sanctuary. We're going to be going over all of the cosmetics, the music sheet, and the stats we get from the spirit, as well as showing you where you can find it, and the accurate prices for the spirit. Let's start with the hair. So the hairstyle is this super cute braided style. It's got two long strands tied up in the front, some cute bangs, this big, big braid in the back, and some little loose strands on the top. I love this hairstyle. It's very feminine if you're looking for a more feminine approach, and it's awesome. The cape here is the butterfly cape, one of the best capes in the game in my opinion. It's just so shapely, it's so clearly a butterfly. The coloration is amazing and it really stands out. I just love the shape of this one. It's such a good cape. And we'll check out it raised as well with the butterfly emote. So the interior is just a plain white. I love that the edges seem to glow in the light. It is such a good cape. I know I've said that like two times now. We'll also check it out flying really quick because the flying animation is really smooth and really nice. It's still sort of bird-like in how it flaps, but I love that the two bottom tails sort of trail behind it. It's so fun. Let's do some flips. Woo! And a nice safe landing. Hopefully. Yep, now the music sheet. Now we're going to check out the spirit stances. This is the timid stance. So you have your hand on your arm, looking a little shy. Your feet are sort of turned outwards. We'll do a whole view around. So cute. And then we'll check out the three sit emotes first, starting with the first one. So now we're crunched over onto our knees, hugging them. So shy. Don't be so shy. And now for the second sit. Again, crunched over, hugging your legs instead this time. And the lay down emote. Which I have no idea what this pose is, but go off, you know? Good for her. Probably the weirdest lay down emote, but you know, it's okay. It's a little unique. 
Next up, I'll show you where you can find the spirit. So I'm using the return shrine to go back to the Sanctuary Islands. Ah! Um, you might fall off if you were in the Sanctuary Islands. So we're just headed to the first little floating island from the entrance here. If you're not sure how to get to the Sanctuary Islands, there's just an exit in the lower part of the bird's nest area of the prairie. So we head down here and ooh, here she is just being shy. And we go up, around. I have already relived this spirit, so they're a little gray. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, I just passed her. And then around to the front, into the cave. And then we go back the way we came. She's on top of this jelly over here. Ooh, I'm having like weird mild leg. I haven't had any legs since I bought my new phone. Very strange. And then on to... Wow! I almost flew off from the leg onto this little island here and then onto the main part of the island. Just on the side here. Across the little lake. And then her final spot is on the very top up here. Ta-da! Now we have the Timid Stance. So next up, I'm going to show you the accurate pricing for this spirit. So if you wanted everything from the Timid Bookworm, you actually need zero hearts this time, which is amazing. 140 normal candles and two ascended candles starting with the stance which you get for free from collecting her it branches off into music sheet number 15 which is 15 candles we also have a spell above her for five candles we then branch off into the hairstyle for 42 candles the heart for three candles and a permanent wing buff for two ascended candles above that is another spell or blessing for five candles and then finally, the butterfly cape for 70 candles. And that is absolutely everything for the Timid Bookworm. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!